What's up everybody, it's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2008 Yamaha XVS 1300. Um, there are some, some funny things with this bike and we're going to find out what they are. Uh, stick around to find out what that is. Um, it is a fairly clean bike. It's got like maybe 25,000 miles. Um, but it, it would serve someone very well if you're looking to do some riding. It's got a, a nice comfy passenger seat. A nice big rider seat, you can do some miles in those. But we're going to start out with probably the biggest quirk on this bike is this rear tire. Uh, that is a car tire. I have no idea why you would do that. Um, I know some guys really buy into that on the Gold Wings. I personally do not like it. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, I definitely don't like it on this bike. Uh, so that's that. That is where that at. The tread's good, but it's weird that it's a car tire. Um, we got some. Uh, we got a scratch here on the rear fender. I want you to see those coming up here. You got the tail light, the turn signals. Um, you guys know those things. Uh, I got the license plate mount. Got the back of the sissy bar there. It uh, does have this reflective tape here in the bags. Not sure why, but that's there. Coming around the side here, you can see the side of the sissy bar, side of the passenger seat, and the rider seat. See these. Uh, leather bags here. Some of this stitching is breaking out here. So it does have hard plastic in there, but this leather is stretched and kind of tearing away. Open those up, you see the inside of the bag there. That is that. Uh, you can see the Cobra exhaust there. That is a nice shape. Got the side cover, got your passenger peg here. Good to go with that. Um, here on the side of the tank, everything is good to go there. So you see some smudges in there, kind of like in the clear coat. Um, here on this side cover, there's some weird scratches. I have no idea what would have caused that. It almost looks like there was some sort of like emblem or badge there that was taken off. There's your air cleaner cover. Your rider floorboard, rear brake. This bike does have the crash bars. Got the antenna there for the radio. Uh, there's an aftermarket radio in there. We'll see that in a minute. Let's keep going around the side. The top here, you got the mirror. That's your throttle, front brake, fill switch. You know all that. Spin it around. You see this big front fairing? Got the never forget 91101. Where were you? But you can tell me. There's your headlight. Here in this front fairing, there's some, some scratches right in here. And some more, like some just some little nicks in around here. I don't know how well they're showing up in the video, but they are there. Not all the marks you're seeing are nicks. Some of this is just bugs, but there are some actual nicks in here. Um, over on this side, not so many of the nicks, more of just like the bug marks. But that is that. There's a nick there, there, there there and there. Uh, here on the front fender, front fender seems to be in decent shape. I don't have the marks like I did up on the on the fairing, but it's not perfect either. Got a chip here right on the nose. The front tire is in nice shape. Front tire probably has like 60 or 70 percent tread. Um, there is the front brakes and the front wheel. Some weird markings here on the edge of the front brakes. That is that. Here on the fork tube is probably the second biggest imperfection. I mean, nothing on this bike is perfect, but the things that I want you to see is this lower fork tube has some pretty gnarly. Um, oh wow, pitting. Forgot the word there, pitting. The same thing on this side. I want you to see all those so you know exactly where you're at with this bike. Spin this all the way around so you can see the front wheel from this side. Jump up over here to the handlebars again, see your mirror, handlebar, clutch lever. Uh, we'll jump in and look at the tank. Got a light mark on the tank right there. Everything else in this tank is looking to be in pretty decent shape. There's your motor from this side. Again, mechanically, this bike seems very sound. It runs well, fires right up. That's your floorboard, toe shifter, heel shifter, kickstand, passenger peg. There's the side cover again on this side. All that stuff is good. 
Um, this bike is belt driven. You can see the belt in here. Get your belt cover and your swing arm. This bag on this side looks like quite a bit better than the bag on the other side. Uh, obviously the same on the inside, but this stitching is all good in here. And here it's not busting apart like the other side was. Jump up here, you got the ultimate seat for the passenger, ultimate seat for the rider. Uh, they have the spot here for the backrest. I do not have it, but you could add that if you really wanted it. Got the star on the sissy bar. Coming up over the tank, you can see that. Fuel cap, gauge. There's the aftermarket stereo in there. Kind of a little bit of the old school head unit with the, uh, with the CD player. Let me just turn this on. See that it has 25,059 miles. There'll be a few more miles on that after the test drive. If you're interested in this bike, make sure you check out the test drive. It should be up on YouTube. Uh, again, you get the mirror, handlebar, clutch, uh, you know, high beam, low beam, horn, all those things, turn signal coming across here. Got your throttle kill switch, selector for the display on the speedometer and whatnot. Reset your trip meter, starting starter, start switch, I mean, and mirror. There is the head unit. I have to turn all the way down just before the video. Let's start this thing up. Let's first make sure this thing is in neutral. Guess I'm gonna have to hold on the clutch. Ooh, or I could turn on off the kill switch. That would probably help too. Make sure these turn signals work. Got your front signal there. And you got your front signal on that side. Cruise on here to the back. Make sure that one's going. Yes, it is. Let's go up here. Hit the other side for the rear signal. Good to go. All right, guys. Like I said, this is a 2008 Yamaha XPS 1300. Do not miss out on this bike. This is going to be a great bike. If you're trying to move up in class and you want to stay on the more affordable side, this bike is going to be priced to sell. Thank you so much for watching.